So it's, it's astounding what you did. You should not underestimate it. You should not underestimate it. You know, you did it the most American way. You believed in science. You believed in hard work, and you believed it wasn't a darn thing you couldn't do if you put your minds together. One of the reasons why we're such an incredible country is we're such a diverse country. We bring the best out of every single solitary culture in the world, here in the United States of America. And we give people an opportunity to let their, let, let, let their dreams run forward. And you, you just, I, I can't tell you how much, uh, you know, uh, everyone was so down the last years about, is America still the, the, you know, the font of change? And are we still the country that has hopes and develops and pursues the most unlikely things to happen? And we are. And you all demonstrated it. I'm not being, look, I'm not, I, I really mean this. It's so much bigger than landing perseverance on Mars. It's about the American spirit. And you brought it back. You brought it back in a moment we so desperately needed. I was reaching, I was talking to a head of state who was calling me about thanking me, or not thanking me, congratulating me on becoming president. And then I later heard from another head of state saying, America's changed so much, they, they, they used to be so competent to do great things. And here they can't even deal with the coronavirus. Look how badly organized they are. That was said by a head of state. And America, image in the world, and it matters. It matters because democracies have to demonstrate they can run as efficiently and more efficiently than autocracies. There's a big battle going on. Your kids are going to be studying about when democracy once again reestablished it could do anything as opposed to autocracies that can just command things. I just, I just can't tell you how much I believe historians are going to write about what you did at the moment you all did it. At the moment you all did it. You should take such great pride, such great pride in what you did. We can land a rover on Mars. We can beat a pandemic. And uh, with science, hope, and vision, there's not a damn thing we can't do as a country. We have never, ever, ever failed to meet a goal. We've set our mind to it, and we've done it together. And that's what you all showed. So it goes way beyond, way beyond the whole notion of what you just recently did. And God only knows what is going to come from this. God only knows what's going to happen. But you all are incredible. All the dreams you created in other people's minds, other young kids. I tell you what, I just wanted to thank you and tell you, you know, you, it just seems that, you know, we're on the side of the angels just at the moment when things look like they're really dark in America over our history. Something has come along. Something has come along. And you guys came along and you did this. And so I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, tell you how presumptuous of me to say I'm proud of you, but I am so proud of you. And, uh, and uh, Mike, the teamwork that still exists there, the importance of it, the consequence of what you're doing, and it's only just a start. I had a group of folks in my office not too long ago, House and Senate members, I mean, House members, Democrats and Republicans, talking about infrastructure. And I have in the and, and, the, and the shelf in, in my Oval Office, a moon rock. And they walked over and said, this is actually a moon rock from the moon? And I jokingly said, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till you see what comes home from Mars. So anyway, folks, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're great Americans, and you're demonstrating again. There's not a thing we cannot do when we set our mind to it. God bless you all. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. And by the way, I'm like a poor relative, Mike. When I'm invited, I show up. So be careful. You know, the poor relatives, they show up. Even, they stay longer than they're supposed to. I'm one of those kind of guys. <laughs> we will be more than happy to have you with us. Stay as long as you want. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Bye bye. Godspeed. John Glenn. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys.